you're about to review a full 15 minute demo of the Allscripts My Way product. We're going to make sure that we highlight truly from the front to scheduling an appointment, registering a patient, patient all the way through the back in the billing. So we're going to go through actually documenting a note and then go back to the billing and how to make sure we get our money back. First, I want to talk a little bit of background of the system. This is a pen-based system. So what I mean by that is you're going to see no double clicks and no right clicks. It was truly built for the provider. Not only that, it was built on the latest and greatest technology. It's .NET Framework, which truly means that if you're comfortable using the Office products, Microsoft Office, which includes Word, Outlook, or even using Internet Explorer, this system is going to be very simple for you to navigate and go through. The first screen that we're going to talk about is our desktop. Our desktop is the main goal is to make sure that we can eliminate all of those paper on your on your desk when you come in the morning and what we want to do is we want to automate that for you. So what you're seeing right now is on the left hand side you're seeing a list of appointments that you have. On the right hand side might be your messages. So in the paper world here's here were all your different post-it notes. And then here's your incomplete notes and your charts that you have. So we want to eliminate all that clutter on your desk and we want to put it all on one screen for you. This screen is totally customizable. So what I mean by that is a nurse might not want to look at the same information as a doctor or even a bill or a front desk. So you can customize this to make sure it fits what your needs are. We're going to go into next is we're actually going to go into the scheduler. So it's very simple to schedule an appointment. You see that right now I'm just looking at a one day view. I have the ability where I could see a whole week if I needed to. To schedule an appointment, I can just find a, the slot that we want to and we can select that. Whenever we select that appointment, I can come up and I'm actually going to select my appointment type. I'm going to pull in a patient so I have the ability to search for a patient. Note that you have up to eight different ways to search for a patient. This just gives you that flexibility in case maybe you. Uh, didn't know how to spell their last name, you could search by social security number, even by birth date. If we want to schedule that appointment, we can come in here, enter in that patient's name, and put in the reason why they're coming in. Maybe they're coming in for the flu. Since it's an integrated system, you also have the ability to check health maintenance rules. So here's where you can see if anything's overdue for a patient. We see that nothing's due for, overdue for this patient, which is good, so we can finish scheduling the appointment, and we can keep moving on. We're going to close out of the scheduler and we're going to touch just briefly the patient registration screen. The patient registration screen can, can be very important because what it can do is here's where you can get some of that information that you, that you want to see for that patient. So right now I'm just looking at some basic demographics for Sean Citizen. You also have the ability where you can pull in the patient photo. So you can import that in there if you have a digital camera. One of the slickest features I think that we have in our patient demographics screen is the ability to scan in insurance cards and driver's license. Not only will it save an image of that card, but it will actually pull information off of those cards and put it directly in there. So it's something called OCR capabilities, which is optical character recognition. It's a great way to save time, but more importantly, reduce those errors. Because we know that the number one errors that you have when it comes to claim submission is data entry errors. We're going to close out of demographics, and we're going to spend most of our time actually charting a note. So let's say that maybe a patient walks in, and we want to chart their note. We'll say that Sean has came in here. I'm going to start a new note from scratch. So what typically would happen is the nurse might come in here and enter in some of the vitals that they have. They can enter in that information as they go on there. They can enter in what their blood pressure might be and update these vitals. Once we move into our chief complaint, one of the things that you're going to see that's really nice is we don't use templates. So by not using templates, you're not going to see a lot of drill downs. You're not going to see a separate program that's called Template Builder. This is going to give you the ability where you can truly just point and choose what you want to see. You'll also note that you have a most frequently used. So this is something that's going to build the more that you use your system. And it's something else that we're going to talk about, which is adaptive learning, which is the system starting to remember the way that you practice medicine. And it's going to remember and help you practice medicine here in the future. We're going to say that maybe the patient's coming in for shortness of breath. Okay, If they're coming in for something else, such as a sore throat, here's where you can come into your certain section. 
and then you can select sore throat or whatever you need to. Within the system, you can select multiple issues that have nothing to do with each other, which means that they're totally unrelated, and you can still document that all in one screen. That's the other benefits of staying away from templates. Sometimes with templates, you get stuck with only one problem, or you have to open up multiple templates to chart that document. We're going to come into our history of present illness. Now we're seeing only the pertinent things that we selected, so you're not going to have all those additional clicks and all those additional plus signs. Let's just say that maybe they are having some chest tightness and it's gradual and onset and happened around four days ago. Frequency of episodes, we'll say right now it's truly just weekly and that they're around two hours when they happen and typically in the afternoon. We can also chart our sore throat. So here's where we're going to come into our sore throat. We can say that it's really on both sides, it's acute, and it is worse during the day. As we document everything that we want to, down at the bottom, it actually tells us how many points that we're charting. This is going to be a huge thing that will help us out with our correct coding. So we want to make sure that we're billing to the appropriate level. Our history is going to be information that hopefully has already been entered before, which you can see by the blue screen. If everything stayed the same, I can truly just check the box and saying that I reviewed each of those. I know that if I currently smoke and that stayed the same, I don't need to go in there and change anything. Typically, here's where the nurse is going to end off and the provider is going to start their visit. So the provider is going to start with the review of systems, and what they're going to do is they're going to come in here and they're going to document by exception. We are actually going to make sure that we build all the doctor's normals, so truly within one click we can bring in the doctor's normals and then we can just chart by exception which means that we can come in here we said that the patient presented themselves with a sore throat we'll say that the sore throat was present and then we could document anything else that we need to and get our appropriate points physical exam would be done the exact same way so here's where we can come in we can check in what our, at, uh, what our normals are Anything that is abnormal, we could come in here, and then we can go into our tonsils, and we'll say that maybe they're a little bit enlarged. As we go into our diagnosis, here's where we can start to see our most frequently used as a provider. We can see a patient's list of things that they've came in before. And then the other nice thing is we can build this screen to look just like your paper and counter form. So we can set up the exact same headers to make it nice and easy for you truly just to point and click. We're going to say that the patients came in for some pharyngitis. So I can come in here and I can look for those diagnoses. I see my acute pharyngitis and I can come in here and I can select it. I can also select other diagnoses that the patient has if they saw it. So maybe if the patient has had a uh, chronic illness of diabetes, I can track that. And one of the things that I want to point with that is since we've done diabetes before, let's talk about the adaptive learning. The adaptive learning is going to give that ability where the system remembers how you've charted diabetes before. So I can come in here, I can actually select that diabetes, and I can start to see some of the prescriptions, services ordered, services performed that have came in the past. What that's going to do is that's going to help save those clicks and save that time to prevent it in there. So I can truly just come in here and I can even actually refill it right from on the fly, or I can just keep moving on. As I keep coming down here, the last thing I want to do is go into my assessment and plan. Here's where I can say how when I want the patient to come back. So if I need them to come back in two weeks as needed, I can have that. I can also maybe edit some patient referrals. And I can add education forms, which are on the right-hand side. I'm about to close my visit before, but before I do that, I do want to run to my E&M guidelines. And what this is going to do is this is going to help me with all my points. So it's going to tell me, here's how many points you've documented in each section. If I see that I didn't document as many as what I wanted to, I can always just choose the hyperlink, and it will take me right back into that tab. Based on everything, I have a calculated level of 4, which is great. So I'm making sure that I'm billing the appropriate level, and I can choose my OK button. Now that I'm doing, done doing that, I can actually close out of my note, and I can keep moving on. So I'm going to close out of my note. I'm going to say that I'm done with this visit, so I'm ready to submit it, and I can complete this note. So now I've finished this note, and now I can actually go to check out the patient and go on to the billing.
now that I've finished this note, you'll see that Sean's you'll see that Sean Citizone is actually ready to discharge. We can come in here, we can discharge that patient. We can print out any patient plans, collect a copay, or even schedule this appointment two weeks as needed. We're just going to check out this patient, and we're going to move on to the billing side of this demo. From this point, now a biller can spend time doing what they get paid to do, and that's code and make sure the claims get sent out correctly. From here is where we can go into our track super bills, and what this is going to do is this gives us the ability for the biller to pull up all of the charges that they need to review. So what I can do in here is I can actually pull up any of the charges that need to be reviewed. Once I select that charge, it's going to open up my encounter form, and I can see all of my CPT codes and all my diagnoses that I have. I can make any changes if I needed to, or if I'm truly done scrubbing it, I can go in there and I can make sure that I submit that claim. Now that I've submitted that claim, I can close out of here and I would process our claims through Payer Path, which is our clearinghouse that is actually owned by Allscripts and it's in the one of the top three in the country. So one of the big benefits of Payer Path whenever you go to process your claims is this is going to be going through all of the different level of edits to make sure that the claim goes out clean and gets paid by the insurance company. We have a 98 percent first time pass rate which is great which means that it's going through all those edits and scrubbing it as clean as possible after we process those claims through payer path we're gonna receive a payment from the insurance company we can enter in all of our payment entries insurance and patient wide right through here through payment entry you'll see that it's very simple to add a payment I can just hit my new button I can actually come in here I can enter in maybe it was a check payment from a person we can attach our batch which is just a billing grouping that will help us with our balancing and here's where we're gonna say who's the patient that's actually paying so I'm gonna come through here and we're gonna say that it was Sarah if it was a $25 payment you'll see that it will actually automatically allocate to the oldest charge so it's very simple in here to actually go in there and post a payment the last thing that I want to talk about in this demo is our reporting capabilities. Our reporting capabilities are very functional to the system. So what I mean by that is we have a lot of flexibility and you see here's a list of all of our different CAN reports that we have. All the way from clinical going down to the bottom going through our practice management or our, our financial reports. One of the reports that I do want to talk about is our total AR aging. This is a report that can sometimes take very long time to run and it can be a very long report. Our system uses something called interactive reporting. And what that gives you the ability to do is now we can run this report and preview it on a screen and we can work it right from here. These hyperlinks actually give us the ability where we can go directly into a super bill. From this point, once we open up that super bill, we can make any changes that we need to. Maybe we forgot a modifier with the insurance company. And then we can even take it from hold and get ready to submit that. Most practice management systems, that might be four or five different screens. We can actually not only run this report, view the charge, make the change to a charge, and refile it all from one screen. Not only that, if we have an account or we do want to play around with this report even more, we do have the ability that we can export them into Excel and Adobe. Exporting them into Excel gives us the possibility where we can even sort it different ways or pull information or data from our tables to bring up different type of reports. So that's going to conclude the demo. You know, it truly, it's a very simple product that's intuitive and it is complete. It's going to be your practice management, your electronic medical records, and then your revenue cycles management. So it's covering all aspects of your system.